Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. Thanks for tuning in to Revelations. Today we're in Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania, visiting Friends in Action with Tim and Jan Johnston. And uh, according to Acts 1.8, it says that we would receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon us and we'll be His witness in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria, even to the ends of the earth. So locally, regionally, and internationally. So Friends in Action, Tim, is certainly a ministry that is doing that international work. Why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the projects and places that you guys are doing ministry? Well, Friends in Action has been working in five countries more recently, and it's been really exciting to see how God keeps going before the various projects and works that we're doing there. In Africa, we're drilling wells to help needy people that are desperate for water. And then uh, recently, we finished up building two bridges in Africa where people needed a transportation need. And then in uh, Bolivia, South America, we've been coming alongside of the national churches and helping build a radio station and a river launch to get back into remote places. In Central America, Nicaragua, we've been coming alongside of the Mesquito people who were hit by a hurricane and had a real desperate need there, as well as the Rama people. And then in uh, the South Pacific, in Papua New Guinea, we have a, a river a barge that takes supplies interior to missionaries there. And in Vanuatu, another group of islands in the South Pacific. Uh, we've been building a new base of operations to provide uh, mechanical and shop ministry services to people there. Well stay tuned, we're going to go behind the scenes and take a look at some of the projects that they're working on, so hopefully you too can be a friend in action. Friends in Action, answering the call of God wherever that may be. It's a little bit hard for us to grasp today that there's over 3,000 language groups in the world that have never heard of Jesus Christ. The primary mission of Friends in Action is to come alongside of missionaries working in remote and difficult places around the world who are endeavoring to take the Word of God to people that have never had an opportunity to hear. The farther you go from the cities, the towns, the rural places, there's no longer roads, there's no longer transportation, there's no longer electricity or water, or sewage or phones or any of those systems. The infrastructure basically is not there. So the objective of Friends in Action is to help put that infrastructure in place that allows a missionary to serve and be there for years to come. You have to have a burden for these people. Uh, they need the message. They got to hear the salvation message. And that's one thing nice about you know, mission. They go out and uh, teach the people the Word of God. And that's really what they need. I've been out to those places where people are literally waiting and asking for missionaries to come and teach them God's Word. And that's why Friends in Action really exists, is to come alongside and make it more more readily accessible for people to get in those places. Building airstrips in the jungle, drilling wells in dry, barren places that nobody wants to go to, helping people get their homes established and their clinics and these things established that allows them to work for the people. God knew my real heart and I kept hearing the words, it's time to give back. It's time to give back. It's when we step out that the Lord has a chance to prove himself uh, strong on our behalf and he has a chance to show us that, hey, I can do something bigger than you thought I could and take a, a problem that you thought was big and, and make it seem like really not so big after we've gone through it. Providing the services, the machinery, the equipment, etc., to thrust forward missionaries coming into that country and being able to serve there is vital to seeing that work go forward. I've never regretted taking any, any missions trip uh, because it, every trip has expanded my worldview. God has taught me over the years through taking these trips that the project is just a platform to build relationships with people and by building relationships with people it gives, us, gives me a passion for these people. One of our objectives as Friends in Action is to actually get more people involved in missions. Give them an opportunity to go here, see, smell what it's all about and invest their time, their energy, and their abilities in the work. We are counting on volunteers to come alongside of uh, what we're doing and helping us. It's an experience. You have to really go on a mission trip to see what it's all about, especially for the young people. This is so great for them to get involved in missions uh, because they can see the other cultures and 
they can help people. When the opportunity came up to go to Vanuatu, um, I really felt I needed to go. Um, but my mom was kind of hesitant to send me halfway across the world by myself. Emily got excited and said, Mom, Mom, let's go, let's go. And I said, no, wait a minute, you know, where is this place? I kind of convinced her to come along and we made it a mother-daughter trip. The Lord showed me that anyone can be used. Um, just have a willing spirit to go and a willingness to, to be flexible, a willingness to um, reach out to others. That's one thing that I always look at when I serve on missions is what is the goal and is there any spiritual growth going to come out of it? That's really what Friends is all about. Taking the people here around North America and believers around the world and allowing them to use their gifts and their skills to thrust forward missions, allowing the Word of God to be taught that much sooner. <laughs> provided a hospitality network for missionaries as so they travel, as they speak in churches and communicate with people across the country. We have over a thousand homes that are available to them that just with a little bit of notice, they're thrilled to have them come and stay in their homes as they travel and uh, share their work with them. We've put together a network of people that uh, want to be a part of praying forward missions around the world. And so we're receiving information from missionaries by letters and by email. Take time and look at our website. If you go to www.fia for Friends in Action, I-N-T-L for International dot org, that's our website. And you'll see all the different projects we're involved in, the kind of things we're doing, where we stand doctrinally, all those kind of things are there. The phone number for Friends in Action, our headquarters is 717-546-0208. Give us a call. We'd love to hear from you and uh, tell you more how you can be involved. We have a great God out there. And if we're willing to trust Him um, for great things, we can see those things accomplished.